All right, guys, in this video, I will be covering Syntax, one of my favorite platforms within this new DeFi tutorial playlist that I'm building. And as the channel states, this is for dummies, so I'm not doing an extremely deep dive on their economics. I just want to show you what they've built because, well, I think it's one of the best platforms out there within the DeFi space. So I'm going to give you the general run through of what it is. In essence, this is verbatim from their website. Syntex is a decentralized synthetic asset issuance protocol built on Ethereum. These synthetic assets are collateralized with their native token, SNX, which when locked in a contract enables the issuance of synthetic assets. So to summarize, and I'll be getting into the run through with the tutorial, how it works is you take the token, the SNX token, you lock it, which becomes liquidity and security for the protocol. In exchange, you get something called SUSD, which is their native uh, stable coin on there. And then you use that stable coin as debt uh, to participate within the synthetic exchange. Mind you, you don't need to use the stable coin. You can go right away with SNX. But as staking, you get rewards for the network. So it continues over here. All synthetics are backed, as I mentioned, by the SNX token. Since our mint, when the SNX holder, that's you, when you have a token, is staked using, using their system called Minter, which we'll be getting to in a second, okay? Now, this has been changed lately to 600. So this is old documentation, but now it's 600% 600, uh, 600 collateral. Since are currently backed by 600% collateralized ratio, although this may be raised or lowered in the future, it's lowered right now, SNX stakers incur debt when they mint since. So I won't get into that. You can read this if you want. I'm not here to read things for you. But in essence, it's a decentralized synthetics exchange where you have a token that provides liquidity, that provides incentives for the platform. And let me show you how it works because you can read things all day long and have no fucking idea how it works. So, so the first thing you do to use Syntex is you need to be, get their token. So let's say you don't have their token, right? You would then go to one exchange. Let's say you have some ether, make sure this is right. HTTPS, always double check this stuff, right? So you would go to one inch exchange, depending on the wallet you wanna use, let's say, I don't know, accept. You want to use MetaMask, we go to MetaMask, click yes, click yes, connecting, boom, I accepted, we are, we're connected, okay. We need to go get SNX, because the whole point of Minter is you want to mint SNX, so look at this, mint SUS, SUSD by staking your SNX. This gives you a collateralization ratio in debt, allowing you to earn staking rewards. So when you stake your SNX, you get their stablecoin, SUSD, which then you can go to their exchange, right? So think of it as a house. Think about my last video as Aave. You're using a crypto as collateral to get liquid crypto to use that for arbitrage. In this instance, it's all synthetic. So synthetic Bitcoin, which is SBTC, they have a DeFi basket, synthetic ETH, uh, Link, you name it. And eventually even stocks, I heard that's coming. But the whole notion is you get the SNX token, you go to Minter and you mint it over here to get SUSD. So the first thing is, well, you need to get that token. Well, most people will have some type of ether or Ethereum. So let's go over here. This is one inch, whatever. There's a bunch of things you can use. And let's type in SNX. Oh, there we are, SNX. We're gonna click that. And I don't know, let's get, uh, oh, I don't want one ETH. This is my test account. Let's get like uh, like uh, 30 bucks worth or something. Oh no, not 30 ETH. We want, uh, here we go. We'll do like uh, 0 0.1. Or even, yeah, 0 0.1, $44 ETH. We're going to swap the token, estimate fee. We're going to swap token, boom. So 0 0.1 ETH will give us 9 SNX. Transaction cost is 225 224 It's fucking expensive these days. <laughs> whatever, we confirm, we wait. MetaMask or whatever wallet you're using, you're going to ask. I'm going to speed this up a little bit. Boom, click confirm. We'll see how long that takes. We're going to come back to this. All right, guys, it worked. We're back. And now what we do is we go to Minter. And basically, I want to now stake my SNX to provide liquidity and to get my weekly staking rewards. So I go here. I want to unmint it. And I click max. So I have 7S. Um, I can get 7SUSD 
by staking 9 SNX. So I click mint now, but look at this. Remember from my last video for Aave, and I know Syntex is working on optimistic roll-up, so layer two, it's expensive, man. Like $6 for me to uh, stake about 40 bucks. So this isn't for your regular average Joe. Syntex is for traders and people who are savvy within the crypto space and who don't mind spending $30, $40 on transaction fees. It is what it is. Uh, but they're close. Uh, they have testnet. Well, no, it's in mainnet. They have optimistic rollout for some people. And so hopefully in the next couple of months, the cost will be down to pennies as opposed to me spending almost $7 to send 40 bucks. Anywho, for the sake of the video, let's spend. Once again, I'll fast forward, spend some money. Seven bucks on this? Sure, seven bucks for 40 bucks. Makes sense. <laughs> this might take a while, so bear with me. We'll come back to this. All right, we're back. It minted, as you can see. I am 600% current collateralized ratio. And why this is important is, for example, let's look at the uh, screen over here. You have mint, which you saw. So you mint your SNX. You can buy it on Uniswap or one inch. It's up to you. It doesn't really matter. You'll pay the gas fees. Uniswap's a little bit cheaper. So you come here with your SNX and based on the collateral ratio, you will stake your SNX to get SUSD. That's the first step. Now, second step is understanding what you're looking at over here. Let's say SNX drops in value. That changes your collateralization ratio, which is important for two reasons. Number one is on a weekly basis, uh, obviously, I just stake, so I won't get it. But on a weekly basis, you'll see, based on the value of your SNX, you will have rewards in SNX and also in SUSD, which you claim. You, it's every week you claim. And if you don't claim it, it's forfeited to a pool to other people. However, what's important is the only way to claim this is if your collateraliz collateralization ratio is 600% or if they change it down to 500 or 400, even back up to 700. So it's really, really important that your collateralization ratio stays at the level need be, or even higher, it's even better. So let's say my collateralization ratio is lower than 600. That means then you have to burn back the SUSD to unlock it, right? This is where this happens. So I won't burn it right now, but I'll show you. So let's say, uh, this is lower, it's like 500. This button will pop up and say, fix your collateralization ratio. So I click this, I just so I just wanna say burn max, I won't do for the video, but gives you a general idea of like, let's say you need to burn three SUSD to get back to your 600 ratio. This then would equalize you getting to normal level so you can claim your weekly rewards. And that's it in the nutshell on for these top three. Now it's really important though that you track your debt because it is debt. You staking your SNX, it's, it's cool. It's a great feedback mechanism they're built over here. One, the token provides liquidity and support for the network. It rewards everybody else staking. But two, it creates debt for yourself because when you stake this, people will then use this SUSD, which is their decentralized stable coin in, in, in Syntex, <clears throat> and then they'll go to the exchange, which we'll get to in a second important about this uh, this table here is you need to really track what's happening so this tracks your debt so i'm in debt right now seven dollars and 39 cents because i staked about 40 bucks versus worth of snx for me to get back my snx i have to repay back the debt no different than real estate as i mentioned or no different than ave if i stake something as collateral and i take out a loan initially this is a loan at the end of the day <clears throat> it's, a, it's a loan to do arbitrage and to make your money back I need to pay back the seven dollars and thirty nine cents to get back my nine nine point six two SNX. But what's interesting? Let's say next week I claim. If I go back and I claim, and let's say there's one SNX to claim, that means I can then go back and stake more. So they created a really cool feedback mechanism of earning more rewards, taking those rewards, staking them, earning more SUSD as debt. Then what I can do with that debt? We on to round two. I go to the Syntex exchange. One without the other, you can work, but more or less you wanna use both. I can just jump into this and do trades automatically, but more or less you want the benefit of the whole ecosystem, hence why people do this. So let's connect the wallet. You got options, right? MetaMask for the sake of this video, keep things simple. Yes, confirm, bada bing, I'm in. Okay, cool. 
What's cool about this is you have many different options here. I'm not a trader. I don't really use this whatsoever. I've played around with doing uh, the uh, DeFi baskets, which they are the originators of like a so-called index basket before anybody else came around. They have synthetic Bitcoin. They have long Bitcoin, short Bitcoin, long DeFi, short DeFi. Uh, as you can see, long DeFi. Uh, yeah, there we go, long and short. And basically what you wanna do here, you can go and you can trade. You can look at different trades you want to do. And remember, that's the native currency they're using. They're using SUSD. So I went to Minter. I staked my SNX as collateral and also to support the network to claim my rewards on a weekly basis. In exchange for my collateral, I take on debt. In this case, $7.37. I then can take that $7.30 and say, hey, I think that Bitcoin will outperform SNX in the next two, three months. Therefore, I want to then stake my SNX, take out debt, and then I want to buy Bitcoin. Basically, because I'm, I'm hedging Bitcoin will outperform my current assets that I have. And then if Bitcoin does outperform, great, I've made, I've made my investment back, I can pay back my debt, plus the profit that I made from the arbitrage difference. That's it in a nutshell. You know, you can do the loans over here, they have, they have options to get into, uh, which is really cool. Options are great, you know, long, short. They, they've really created simple binary options over here. Uh, I'm not getting deep into this, but if you like options, for example, you want to go ETH, very simple. You click on it and you can do long, short. Once again, it's SUSD. This is why I keep on mentioning. It's really cool they go with Minter because the more you can mint. Uh, so how I view it, if you're long SNX, you're long Minter. You stake up your SNX to get rewards every single week, claiming them here. Okay. <clears throat> Next, you use that as collateral to take on debt, which is SUSD. Great. Then, if you're really long SNX, you can buy more SNX with your debt and then keep on repeating that cycle. Or if you think that you were better at options or you think that there's better trades temporarily by using SNX as collateral and taking out SUSD, you can do trades here. And this is why I love it. They've created this amazing, intricate, combined ecosystem that SNX is the liquidity and security behind everything, but they've created their own decentralized Stablecoin. It's different than DAI. It's different than Maker. And it's catching on more and more people are integrating SUSD. In fact, I think SUSD might be the de facto in the future. If, 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 if they keep up what they're doing with Syntex and Minter, I think SUSD might be one of the true native de facto stablecoins in the DeFi ecosystem. That's it in the nutshell, guys. I didn't want to dive into deep. You can go to their uh, documents over here. They talk about the DAO now. I won't get into the DAO. That's a whole different thing with voting systems, etc. But I wanted to give you a quick rundown of the generalized ecosystem and how you can use it. That's the whole point of this channel. That's why I call this channel for dummies. I don't want, this isn't for the uh, converted. This is for people that just want a general overview. So if you found value in this, click subscribe, share this video, and leave a comment below. Peace out.